The other takeaway from the game, unfortunate, is a negative at this point, meaning Mark Walton is out for the season, possibly the best back in the ACC. I think most people would be uh, in agreement on that. Uh, he needs to be replaced. Uh, it, it's been an injury that uh, we saw uh, mounting to a certain extent in, in regards to the ankle, but now out for the season. And uh, he's not the only one that's hobbling for the Canes coming into this uh, Georgia Tech game. Yeah, injury bug has has hit Miami as of right now. And it kind of made the weekend kind of this b bittersweet feeling. Me personally, you know, covering the FSU game and everything that came with it, all the emotions that the fans were going through. And then the next game to hear at around 4.35 o'clock um, from Rick's teleconference, and then they confirmed it after that not only was he did he need surgery, but that he was going to be out for the year because of that, Mark Walton. So just ups and downs, you know, and then later in the week, obviously, Navon Donaldson was another guy that was limped off the field, big freshman offensive lineman who's played very well this season. He's not going to play Georgia Tech. D. Delaney injured. He's not going to play against Georgia Tech. Sheldrick Redwine, I believe, has a concussion that has not been confirmed, but he did have a head injury from what I believe he's not playing. And Amon Richards re-injured, redid something to that hammy. Uh, so now he's questionable. So these are all guys – Obviously, super important, big-time names that you hear for the Canes football team uh, not playing and potentially not playing. So it's definitely going to make make a big impact going forward. And the Canes, like every team, every good team is going to be like next man up. And right now, in receiver, defensive back, and running back right now, it's a little thin. So we'll see how they do.